Hi, this video is about the Kiribu Mathematics Contest. I'm going to show the solution for the November 2013 Grade 7-8 Contest Question 22, which also came up in the Grade 9-10 and 11-12 contests. So the question is, if 5 times the square root of 5 times 5 to the power of 3 divided by 5 to the power of minus 3 over 2 equals 5 to the power of a plus 2, then the value of a is equal to. So to solve this equation and to find the value of a, we will simplify the left side of the equation by rewriting it as a product of powers of 5. So let's start with the left side. So we have 5 times a factor, so we can write 5 as also 5 to the power of 1. And then we have times the square root of 5. And the square root of 5 can also be written as 5 to the power of 1 over 2. Then we have times 5 to the power of 3. And since this is already in the form that we want it, we will just write 5 to the power of 3 again. Then now we have divided by 5 to the power of minus 3 over 2. So if we look at this formula over here, we see that x to the power of minus m equals 1 over x to the power of m. So if you look at our equation, x to the power of minus m is the exact same as 5 to the power of minus 3 over 2 in the equation, as x would be 5 and m being 3 over 2. So since we can see here that x to the power of minus m is the same as 1 over x to the power of m, we know that here we would have divided by and then 1 over 5 to the power of 3 over 2. So now let's look at this formula down here. We have x to the power of m times x to the power of n equals x to the power of m plus n. Since we already wrote these factors as powers of 5, we can just use x as 5. Since it says we have the m plus n, and we have x to the power of m times x to the power of n, just like here, we know that we must add 1 plus 1 over 2 plus 3. So 1 plus 3 is 4. 4 plus a half is 4 and a half which is the same as 9 over 2. And now we have divided by 1 over 5 to the power of 3 over 2. But we, won't, we don't want to divide, we want to multiply because we wanted to rewrite the left side as a product of powers of 5. So we know that if we want to divide by a number, we can just multiply by its inverse. So instead of divided by this, we will multiply by the inverse of 1 over 5 to the power of 3 over 2, which is just 5 to the power of 3 over 2. So using this formula again, we can use x as 5, and then m and n as 9 over 2 and 3 over 2. So 9 over 2 plus 3 over 2 is 12 over 2, and 12 divided by 2 is 6. So we know that this equals to 5 to the power of 6. So if you look at the result here, we have 5 to the power of 8 plus 2, and here we have 5 to the power of 6. So we know that we must just do... 6 minus 2 is 4. So we know that a must equal 4.
If you'd like to know more about this contest, please feel free to visit our website at www.brocky.ca slash caribou.